Wine is one of those things that really engages people's passions and it engaged mine. And it's not just because of the product, of what you taste, but mostly it's just about, it's about the lifestyle, it's the fun, but it's also about the stories and the people. South Africa's 350 year plus tradition of winemaking is rooted in the vineyards of Constantia outside Cape Town. Napoleon Bonaparte, Baudelaire and Jane Austen are just a few of the historic figures who are known to have enjoyed the historic sweet wines of Constantia. I think raconteurs is unconventional because we, we don't do the rote tour. Every tour is specific and unique to whoever we're guiding. If they express an interest in gin, we will try and make a gin tasting part of the tour. If they express an interest in architecture, that gets fed into the wine story. It's really unique. What makes me an expert? 25 years of writing about wine, drinking wine, judging wine, meeting the people, going to the places, and listening to other people's stories and being able to tie that in with stories of my own. South Africa is unique in its, in its history. And we're also unique in that South Africa knows precisely to the day when its wine industry began. And that's because Jan van Riebeck wrote in his diary on the 12th of February, 1659, today, praise be to God, the first grapes were crushed at the Cape of Good Hope. I consciously seek out the smaller, less well-known, not necessarily less popular, um, and ally that to, to people's specific interests. It's a road less traveled because it's, it's, it's a road that is unique to you.